winter time is still trying to hang on. No matter how nice these days get, another front just keeps coming in. Particularly if you live up north, you still have quite a bit of winter time left. Where's some place you can go right now and be pretty much guaranteed some really good fishing? Good morning, guys and girls. March 21, we're looking at Luke 440, Luke 440. And it says, he laid his hands on every one of them and he healed them. They're talking about Jesus there. He laid his hands on every one of them and he healed them. Obviously, that particular verse has got lots and lots and lots of meanings for me. And uh, I wrote this, uh, that verse before Chris had her, had her stroke, but... It's still yet, that, that verse has got a lot of meaning to me no matter what because I've been healed a lot during my lifetime. Here's what I wrote about that in our Catch a Better Life book. We hold a kids fishing day every year at a lake on the grounds of Expressway Auto Mall of America in Mount Vernon, Indiana. That's right, Mount Vernon, Indiana. You know where it is. The kids catch mostly bluegill and catfish, plus the occasional bass every now and then, and they catch a few turtles. There's turtles in that little pond, a pretty good-sized pond, and uh, they catch a few turtles in there. Of a few hundred kids that show up every year, only a few, only a few, win their age class and the big trophies that go along with it. But, get this, all receive a trophy just for being there. Participation trophy, I think is what they call it nowadays. They didn't win them, and honestly, they may not deserve them at all, but they are super excited to get those little trophies. I've never been one big into participation trophies. I've always been one that if I win a trophy, I want to win that trophy. I want to win that sucker. Don't give me a trophy for not just showing up. In today's verse, Jesus was at Capernaum in Galilee at Peter's house. You remember Peter? The Peter, the same Peter, yes, that denied Jesus three times later on before that rooster crowed. You remember that? Well, that evening, people started showing up with all kinds of sick folks, sick folks, and Jesus healed them all. He healed them all. One of the things that gives me the most hope and the most just absolutely positively believing that Chris is going to be totally healed is every time I read about Jesus healing people in the Bible, it talks about Jesus healed them all. He healed them all. He didn't ask who had faith. He didn't ask who believed. He didn't even ask who could pay for the healing. It just says Jesus healed them all. He showed them God's love. He showed them God's mercy. And he showed them God's grace. Grace. Getting healing, not giving anything for it. Not getting anything for it. Just being healed simply by the grace of God. And God's healing power. Listen to me. Can I tell you, God's healing power is still available right now. That's what I hang my hope on. That's what I hang my belief on. God's healing power is still available right now. Plus, just like at Peter's house, that healing is a free gift from God. That healing is the grace of an almighty God that loves you so much, he'll heal you. No questions asked. Here's our tip for today, and it's a pretty good one. You know, we talk about, you know me, I've been pushing spring since about the middle of February, and uh, here it is uh, getting close to April, and we still keep having these little old fronts come in. Some of them only last a day, but they're brutal. They're brutal. It's pretty chilly out here this morning. It's going to be nicer, much nicer this afternoon, but pretty chilly this morning. That wind has got a little bite to it, got a little bite to it. South Louisiana, that's right. South Louisiana offers excellent wintertime fishing for reds, for largemouth bass, for trout, and for flounder. You can go to South Louisiana and catch all of the above. Great bass fishing down there. You're not going to catch 10 or 11 pounders. You're not going to catch giant bass. You know, five pounds is a pretty big one down there, and you can occasionally catch them bigger than that. But South Louisiana's got a lot of bass in it, and that brackish water uh, down where you got salt water mixing in with fresh water, and some of those marinas and some of those bays and, and creeks and bayous in there that's got fresh water just full of bass, just full of bass. So if you've still got the winter blues, South Louisiana is a place you can go and catch a lot of fish, both salt water and fresh water. And can I tell you something else? Those speckled trout. Tastes like filleted crappie and filleted walleye. Yeah, yeah, they're that good. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, 
I sure do love it.